I was here just under a year ago and uh, we had, you know, won at Wembley. It was a terrific occasion and now, you know, we're back into League One and, uh, you know, looking forward to the challenge uh, that's ahead of us. And that challenge is to stay uh, in League One at this moment in time. We're in the relegation zone and uh, we need to get out of it. I guess it's all happened very, very quickly. It has, yeah. I mean, I got... uh, a phone call uh, late on Tuesday evening and uh, it was um, from the co-chairman and, and Rod and, uh, you know, spoke to him and, uh, you know, delighted to be given the opportunity uh, to manage this football club again. Do you regret in any way leaving so quickly after that terrific day at Wembley? There, I mean, there was a difficulty for me. You know, we had uh, a great occasion and, you know, I felt that, you know, going out in a high, uh, you know, was... Uh, a positive uh, move and uh, probably uh, in hindsight uh, wasn't the, the correct move And uh, but that's, you know, sometimes in life you have to learn. What have you learned from those eight months at Bradford City then? Well, I've learned, you know, a lot about, uh, you know, Morecambe what it is as a football club and, uh, you know, Morecambe's a, a football club that, uh, you know, is family orientated. It's big in the community and only this morning when you walk into the football club the people you see the warmth of the welcome uh, and you know really um, you know seeing the players as well from before it's uh, a football club that uh, you know is a strong uh, backbone to it and uh, you know I think we'll see that on Saturday because this season the amount of supporters that uh, Morecambe have had you know the season ticket sales have been tremendous and uh, I think it's, it's a football club you know moving forward. I always got the impression from your last time here that you were very hands-on is that something that you just couldn't do at a bigger club a, a, a bigger fan base as Bradford City? No it, it was it was very similar um, you know, I think that um, there's that there's different problems that you do have and uh, that's just the, the nature of the business but um, all in all you know I'm really looking forward to coming back here. You mentioned some of the players, you know, there's a lot of new faces, but quite a few who are familiar to you. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of players that are familiar because I've seen them, you know, over a a number of years, last year, the year before, uh, and years before that. But um, there are players here that, uh, you know, tasted that success at Wembley that I know really well, and players that, uh, you know, have been added to the squad that I've watched over the years. The fact that you got promotion for this club, does that give you even more of an incentive to keep the League One status? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it, it does. I think that, um, you know, we're in a situation where, you know, we're a number of points adrift at this moment in time from the teams above us. We need to get above them. Uh, what we've got to do is we've got to, you know, win games. Uh, at this moment in time, you know, we, we haven't done that. Uh, we've got to, you know, some good performances and we all know that uh, we need wins to, to get ourselves out of this trouble. Have you kept an eye on performances since you left? Yeah, I always do. You know, I always look at my my old teams and uh, you know look how they're doing. And I think that uh, it's important you do that. And looking at you know this team, um, we've got players in this team that can score goals. Cole Stocks and had a magnificent season, uh, but we've got other players in the team that uh, you know can you know chip in with goals as well. You have a very distinct style of play. How quickly can you reimpose that on the team? Or, or is that not a priority, certainly with Ipswich coming just a few days away? Yeah, I don't see it as a priority right at this moment in time. The priority is to get three points. Um, that's my you know, biggest you know, factor at this moment in time is about uh, getting wins on the board. And uh, that's what we're going to try and do. We've got to do it uh, quickly. I remember when you came last time, you said it was going to take three or four transfer windows for it to be mm. your team. I mean, that's not a luxury you've got at the minute, is it? No, it's not. And uh, I'm not uh, faced by that, you know, at all. I think that, uh, you know, when you walk into a football club, you've got to do the best with the players that you know, have at your disposal. And uh, I think that we've got, you know, a lot of good players uh, at this football club to go forward. There's been a lot of changes off the pitch since you left. Have you noticed that in, in, since you've been back in the building? Well, I think that, you know, there's a lot uh, more staff uh, around the building since I left uh, before. And, you know, that's a good thing. I think that, um, you know, organisational wise behind the scenes, uh, you know, I think that we've improved and uh, that can only, you know, benefit us going forward. So what do you say to the fans? Some of them saying, you know, it's great to have you back, but, you know, they've just had Stephen Robinson leave very quickly. You left very quickly before. What do you say to those fans who might be a little doubtful about your return? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, 
I came into the football club when we were in the, the relegation zone in League Two, you know, and uh, we were bottom of the league. We were able to, to stay in the league and then, you know, eventually we were able to get into to League One. Um, I, you know, left to go to, to another football club because I felt that, um, you know, I had done the job that I was brought here to do and, and that's what I was asked to, was to get the team into to League One. I did that and now, you know, the job is to, to try and keep this football club uh, in League One. So with Ipswich at the weekend, obviously a big challenge, a big crowd, we can't expect can't expect major changes for, for that game. No, there won't be major changes. I think that, um, you know, we can, you know, look at things as well. But I've only come in this morning and Thursday. I have to assess things very quickly, uh, which I'll do. And uh, then, you know, take the Ipswich game as we come. Then we're away to, you know, Plymouth Agile the following week. How do you see the way of preserving League One status with just, what, 13, 14 games to go? We obviously have to be tighter at the back. Um, we've obviously conceded uh, too many goals and um, we have to be more clinical when that chance has come along. And uh, if we can do that, uh, then we'll get enough wins that uh, enable us to you know, be a League One club next season. And what role do the supporters have this weekend and in the remaining games? The same as they've done all season, they support their, their football club and uh, they've done that. Uh, magnificently, you know, they're very vocal and what they want to see for their team is, you know, hard work and uh, that enthusiasm and uh, we've certainly got that in the squad.